Here we have two helmets and it's a good question I'm always being asked. Long tail helmet versus short tail helmet. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law, hope they won't shoot me down soon. So with helmets, there's so much choice around long tail and short tail. What we generally find is with long tail helmets, we always want to try and fit them into like this back shape here. But what we do see is a lot of the time is say if you're susceptible to like head mo movement or you don't get the placement of a helmet like this in the correct position, it's not going to work out as fast as like a short tail one. So say if you had an event where there's a lot of climbing, if you're moving in and out of position, then then you'll get a lot of separation around like the helmet. Also, if you've got like a, a really good position, so somebody like myself, you know, like I've got like this flat back, I get a nice rotation. What I always notice for myself is that I can always feel the back of the tail on my back, which is like really good. It's just kind of a reminder that the helmet is in place. And sometimes where this helmet does kick in, if sometimes you'll see people, they've got like curvatures in the spine and they'll have like a divot between like the head and the, the upper part of the back. Then what we generally can see is we get a nice flow between uh, you know like the head position and the back shape and then that's gonna gonna act as like an aero aid it's gonna be a much faster helmet than potentially like a, a short tail one but i would say that for them you know like this type of helmet is generally for somebody that has got like a good position on like the bike with a lot of these helmets the visibility of them is always going to be the key part like a lot of the new helmets where they kick in a little bit is the top of the helmet sits like really high so you can always see down the road realistically which is what we want to do when we look at like the the short tail helmets again we've got like two these are probably two of the the market leaders really the short tail helmets and what we've seen in the winter and all with both of these is they're just really good if you get like a lot of head movement around like your head position that you just don't get that like that drag penalty we might only lose like one or two watts between like the set you know like the separation between like the the head and the back say if we looked at something like you know like a pock temper if you've got a great position it's really good you know like you've got like this flat back but we've seen like penalties of that over like 10 watts before worth bearing in mind especially if you're a triathlete you know generally speaking you are going to see like a lot of separation around like your head you know like we're reaching to grab bottles there's a lot of distance that you know like you're going to cover so i would normally opt for like a short tail helmet but again what i would say is there's two factors that you always need to bear in mind visibility is the key one you can go to the winter and you might go oh this is the fastest helmet but say if the visibility is you know like it's covering like this eye line here then you're going to get a lot more head movement you know if you're coming in and out of the position a lot and then the second one is what we all, all always see as well around like the visibility all these helmets will get great visibility but it's just sometimes they can steam up what i've generally found with the hjc one is because it sits so forward so the visor isn't covering like the eye line then you'll never get that steaming up effect which is like really good because sometimes you come out of the water it just like it fogs up like straight away say like the cask one that's what sometimes we can see with it it sits so close to the nose that it might just yeah cause that steaming effect and then visibility wise you can't see when you go in it's just something that you need to try on yourself realistically but i'd definitely say for shorter tail helmets you know these are the market leaders in my opinion each helmet is just so different for like each person so it's just definitely you know like if you come somebody like us and you can try all these different helmets on and we can normally get them i'd say like nine times out of ten we always get them right that's my opinion anyway so that's that one done